I want to see an excellent learning environment. I want to see state-of-the-art equipment. I want to see a building that is aesthetically pleasing, uh, one that is safety-oriented, a building that really speaks to our history, our heritage, uh, a building that gives us the, the learning environment that we need to make our students competitive as well as contributors to the growing society. When you drive by it, you say, I want to go here. You know, the old school, um, the building will be torn down, but the heritage and everything that it stood for will still be there. When you walk into the building, it's a place of forward progression, but the heritage, is, it bleeds through. Just kind of narrowing in on the site, and these are factors that we have to think about as we're going along, and there'll be touch points as we, we look at where is our front door? Where should our front door be? The architects, what they're trying to do is make sure that we get all of our classroom spaces and all the amenities that come with the new school while trying to preserve some of the existing features that we can. The only issue with that is that if the stuff is not usable in the first place, like our track or our baseball field, then we need to start over, period. We need to go ahead and get it right this time. You know? We have one shot at this, and we need to do it correctly. We're aiming for the community meeting to let the community know exactly what's going on with Yay. So I think that will answer a lot of questions because people heard a variety of different things on what will be going on with Jack Yates in the future. But this will give them some assurance that they would know that the school would be here, um, basically that they're working on improving things for our students, um, programs and different other things that they're bringing in for the students, and what the benefit will be for others uh, to be able to come in as the, you know, being open enrollment uh, school of choice. The idea of 21st century learning in general, um, it, it's just something that people have to adjust to. I mean, students have to relearn how to learn. Teachers have to relearn how to teach. We have good ideas of how those spaces should work and how they can work, but I think it's still something that's like any change. It's a little bit, you know, uncomfortable and uneasy and unsure at first, but I think one of the things that we have to keep in mind and it's part of our guiding principles is to make sure that we build a building that's, that's good for today, good for tomorrow, good for forever. I believe we're going to have a, a grand school uh, with a grand entrance. Uh, right now we're just having to work out the technicalities, but definitely I believe it's something that can really bring our pride back into the school and rebuild our school as we were once before. So I, I think it's going to be really great for the morale of the students here and then others that will have want to come.